Chick-fil-A brings us stories of athletes who amaze us. Aubrey, tonight we meet a world-class gymnast who went from nearly leaving the sport to trying out for a national team. On the floor at the East Bay Gymnastics Club is Mika Webster Longin. You can see the joy Mika has for the sport, but there was a time just recently when Mika considered retiring from gymnastics. Well, actually it was the period before the pandemic that was the most difficult for me. I was at a different gym and things just weren't going very well at the time. I had a lot of mental blocks, which is like when you're afraid to do certain skills. And so I was having a lot of trouble working through that and the pandemic actually gave me a rest, which was really good. And it gave me a time to kind of reset. And then being able to move gyms after the pandemic was magical for me. And East Bay has now helped me find my love of gymnastics again. Mika has thrived at East Bay. Her coach, Lisa Terry, has taken a patient approach to getting the very best out of Mika. I think it was going slow with Mika, and I think it was uh, listening to Mika and taking my time and us building trust together um, as coach, you know, as a coach and an athlete. Step by step, I make things happen, you know, so if I'm scared of doing one piece, um, for example, on beam, I'll take it on the floor and then I'll move it to the laser beam and then to the low beam and then like to the medium beam and then to the higher beam with lots of mats underneath and then slowly take those mats down until I'm comfortable to be able to do it on the high beam. This past summer, Mika decided to try and make the Belgian national team. Mika has dual citizenship and speaks Dutch. During the summer, I had a great experience at a national team training camp for people who had done well at the national championships. And I was like, wow, I did, I had a great time at that. And it was gymnastics at a higher level than I tried it before. And that kind of boosted my confidence and led me to make the decision just kind of in August, September to give Belgium a try. The Belgian team was going through a coaching change, so Mika had to wait for an answer. Then this past January, the new coaches in Belgium reached out to Mika and her coach. And we're basically like, can you be here next week? We want to see her at our national team camp. And I knew when they saw her, I knew that they would want her. I, I, I knew that. We just had to get there. Since then, Mika has traveled back and forth, showing her skills on an international level. It's all been very exciting for Mika, but also a lot to handle. <laughs> the jet lag is real. Um, I've been back for almost a week now, and I'm heading back uh, this Saturday, actually. And it's really nice to be able to see Belgium, because I did live there for two years, so it was really cool when I first went back there to see how everything looked after things changed, you know, and visit my old neighborhood, see my grandmother again, so it's been pretty cool. Mika has made it all happen with the help of her family and from her school. St. Mary's has been very helpful and is actually letting me do an independent study for my last trimester of senior year because, I mean, I'm a senior, so I'm, I'm almost done and I only have a couple classes left over and I'm really grateful to all the support I've been receiving from the school and the principal, Dr. Imperial, and all of the support staff that's been allowing me to do that. As a senior, Mika will miss some big events in her senior year. I don't think I can go to prom, which I am a little bit sad about. Um, but I'm definitely going to make it a point to go to graduation. These past two weeks, Mika has competed in Europe for a chance to make the European Nationals in May. Her ultimate goal is the Olympics in Paris this summer. I think most gymnasts dream of being able to go to the Olympics, and I'm no different. So, yeah, I definitely have thought about it, but, you know, for now, I'm just going to keep putting my head down and doing the work in the present and, you know, wherever the future takes me. It takes me, and I'm just gonna go along for the ride. The whirlwind has taken Mika from not knowing whether she wanted to continue in gymnastics to knowing she has what it takes to be a champion. And we can tell you Mika made the Belgian team officially this week and will compete in the European Nationals next month. Congratulations, Mika. We are excited to watch her compete. Very proud. I'm Robert Bronstein. And I'm Aubrey Tolliver. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check back every Sunday night. And watch us every Sunday night at 6 and 10 p.m. on NBC Sports California. We'll see you at the games.